Five years ago, I posted this video on YouTube and now it has over 100,000 views. This video is about the bar that you can use in your training. Both sides can expand when you twist it. You can mount it in your wall, in your door. And there are several of training you can make on it depending on the position where you are going to attach this bar. For example, you mount it up. So this one you can do for pull-ups. You can mount it in the middle. You can do some deep training on it. You can mount it down of your door frame and you can do some sit-up or even push up from this equipment and not only that there are some accessories you can mount in it like trx rubber band and something else even i hung my punching bag on it but after reading your comments there are people doubtful how effective are those items they are asking me some questions like is this product really safe is this product damaging your wall or your door frame is this product really effective or is just a gimmick after all even some people are asking what is the condition of this bar after five years and because of that i created this video about this bar after five years Question number one, people are asking me if this bar is able to damage your door or your wall. And I will answer you this question based on my experience. And based on my experience, this bar is potentially able to damage your wall or your door frame. But it depends on how your wall or door is made in my situation my door is not made properly and it broke one side of the corner of my wall and it's leaving some black spot everywhere every time i move this bar to do some other training they make this bar so strong that even the 100 kilo person can hang without even screwing it on that side so if your door is weak this bar potentially damage your wall. Questions number two. Is this product really effective or is it just a gimmick? Last. Tadang. Tadang. Last December of 2018, I posted this video and now it's April 2024. After five years, you can see this video side by side how it compares to me right now this time i was 58 kg and now i'm 66 i'm gaining this much weight and i believe it's more on muscles but this answer is depend on how you do this product at the end this is just a tool its effectiveness is depend on how you use them question number three what is the situation of your bar after five years? And my answer for this question is not that bad. Except this part is worn out. Both sides, the glue is removed and it's compressed properly, it's flat. And this rubber padding here is broken. And the worst thing with it, I cannot hold this bar properly. Because when I grip it, this rubber rotates. But the bar itself is still solid in a way. Still strong, it's still stable, and it manages my weight still without any problem. But this issue can be fixed easily. I will show you how. To fix this problem, this part, I need to put some super glue here. Then after, I will Press it there, tight it, and leave it overnight so this one will be fixed. But first, I will fix this grip here. Thank you for my print, Gito, for giving me this. This is actually, I used a tube from the workshop. I just asked him to hand me this one. 
this is too wide. I just cut it once. Some people they try with this bicycle grip for road bike, but the problem you cannot tight it with so just a wrap around ba uh, band. So the good thing from this, you can tight it squeezing the rubber, so it will not move or it will not rotate. So I cut this one half. So this part, let me just align it to its original uh, position. So like that. Okay, this part is broken. Let me align it again. So it's like that. So now I will use this rubber band. Like so. Let me cut this one first like this. So I'll buy it much thicker from the side. Just make it tight so that the band will be tight as well. It will not go rotate up after. It look like I'm stringing a grip for the rocket, but the only difference is I stretch it to make it tighter. I'm reaching here to the end now and to tighten the grip just cut like this way if you know how racket tennis uh, grip is changed you just do the same way how I cut at the end so like that This is the difficult part when you reach to the end. So what you'll do is put your thumb like this, okay? And this remaining piece here, just insert this one inside like that and pull this part. So now when you have this one, like that. So this part, just cut this. This bar is actually the second one that I have. I purchased the new version of this. And the only difference of this two model is the new version, it has the lock from here so that when you rotate in the bar, the bar will not follow. This bar, if you rotate, you need to do it only in one direction. Otherwise, this bar will rotate as well and make the tightness loose and you might fall down. So to avoid that issue, I explained it in my previous video that you have to turn only in one direction to avoid that from pulling. Thank you guys for having me until this time and I wish this video help you to motivate your training. I supposed to tell you subscribe this channel but anyway, 
YouTube already removed me from its partnership. That's why you cannot see advertisement on this video. So it's up to you. If you think this video is helpful, please feel free to subscribe. At least it will motivate me to make another video instead of waiting for... Yeah, my last video is one year ago. Thank you so much and keep your body.